Hi there, Todd Cameron here from M3 Health. Uh, this video is intended as some practical advice based on uh, what is known around the novel, novel coronavirus originating out of uh, the Wuhan city in China. Um, the information that I'm sharing with you is up to date as of today, but it's a fairly fast moving circumstance, so expect that things may change. Um, the novel coronavirus, novel just simply means new, so it's a flash way of saying it's new, um, we already know that. And it's sometimes shortened to a small case N and then C, small case OV. Um, if you see that, you know what people are talking about. Okay, so we know that its, it's um, origins are um, in the Wuhan city in Hubei province in uh, China, but because it's spread reasonably widely through China, the recommendations now relate to people that have left China. So there, there are two really important things um, that are kind of um, the, the, the gateway questions around whether you should have a heightened level of uh, preparation uh, or not. So the first one is, if somebody has left China in, in the last two weeks, um, then they are considered that they may have been exposed to the novel coronavirus. Um, or if they've spent um, some, some time around somebody that is confirmed to have had the novel coronavirus. And there's a reasonable description around um, close contact, but it usually means sitting for more than 15 minutes or so um, in very close proximity to that person or in the same row on a plane. So um, those two groups need to be treated a bit differently. And this is where I'm gonna ex explain to you what we know about the virus. So we know that, um, you, say you get exposed to um, somebody that is known to have had the virus, um, that's day zero, okay? So uh, the biggest challenge with the coronavirus is with most illnesses, you get exposed, there's an incubation period, even with something highly contagious like measles, there's an incubation period, and you're usually only um, able to spread the illness a day or two before you become unwell. So the incubation period, you're usually not highly contagious. The problem with this virus is that we think it's probably contagious during the incubation period. So somewhere between exposure and say two days after exposure up until 14 days after exposure it looks like people can spread the virus how can they spread it well it's through aerosol so um, coughing or sneezing on people um, the droplets are contagious and also through mucous membranes so through touching your mouth the, the inner lining of your mouth or touching your eyes um, through the conjunctiva we believe it can be spread that way at least at, at this point in time so if you have recently been to China within the last two weeks, or you know that you've spent some prolonged time around somebody that is confirmed to have had the coronavirus, you should consider yourself contagious, quarantine yourself, and um, below this video, I'll put the number for um, Department of uh, Human Services Health, where you can get some information around what you should be doing. Um, that's if you're not unwell. There is no point going to um, a doctor's or the hospital or anywhere else, if those things describe you two weeks out of China or you've been around somebody that's been exposed to novel coronavirus. Um, because there's a chance you can spread it and if you get beyond two weeks and you're not unwell, then you're likely clear of, of any uh, risk of spreading that bug. Now, um, if you become unwell, that's a different story. So if you do become unwell and the most common symptoms are coughing, sneezing um, and difficulty breathing, um, if you do get any of those symptoms, then it's important that you um, phone ahead and make sure that your general practice or the hospital knows that you're coming and that you are, um, ideally, you get a surgical mask. It only has to be a basic surgical mask. The purpose of the surgical mask is to stop you spreading it to other people. The other things you can do to, to reduce the spread of any contagious infection is making sure that you're undertaking regular hand washing that you avoid touching your eyes, your nose or your mouth, and that if you're coughing or sneezing, you do it into the, the um, elbow and you're less likely then to cough or sneeze into your hand, shake somebody's hand and transfer that bug to them. So um, those are the precautions you can take. That's what we know at the moment and I'm gonna produce a little bit more content which will be for the clinic itself for how we deal with these uh, patients should they arrive. So make sure you inform people if, um, if you're feeling at all unwell and you're concerned that you may be somebody that's on the receiving end of um, a novel coronavirus infection. Hopefully that's been useful. I've been Todd Cameron. Um, thanks for your time. Bye.